Hi there, yes, great and glorious Nick Dutch here yet again. Um, I received a request to um, do a tarot reading by email. Namely, this, this lady, she emailed me. Her name's Sandra, age 25. And she wants me to do a tarot reading on her relationship. So I'm going to see what the reading says um, for her, and I'll do it now. I mean, I'm. I'm sorry I'm using my mobile phone camera, but this is like uh, portable, it's quick, it's easy. I know it's low resolution, but you know, you can still get the feeling. So we're going to see what um, this particular reading says. The background that she's given me is that she's had an argument with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's name is Phil. Okay. And she wants me to see whether there's a chance of reconciliation. So we'll do the traditional relationship reading spread which is uh, essentially a five card system and it's uh, basically the Nick Dutch system so we'll see where we can go from here I've already shuffled the cards and uh, we'll take it one step at a time, just a moment please alright, yeah this is my lovely tidy working area, just splitting the deck this is the Crowley Thoth deck decorated by Lady Frida Harris so that's two for her, that's essentially stands for Sandra where she's staying, coming from at the moment and this stands for her boyfriend. Okay, so already we're starting to see a pattern here. On her side of the reading, there's a sense of, uh, of risk, of gamble, and knowledge there's some change there, but also a great feeling of love symbolized by, you know, by the heart suit, uh, well, what became the heart suit in the modern pack of playing cards, which is essentially the, uh, the ten of, of cups which is showing fulfillment and sense of satisfaction. So this is a guy who's really, really important to her in every every possible way. But because you've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is in the, a reading situation, it's talking about risk, it's talking about gamble, it's talking about stress and anxiety and fear, um, as well as a touch of excitement. Um, she may even have um, an almost addictive connection with him, a sense that he's somehow someone who really, really satisfies her, but maybe it's, it, there's even some codependence here. So that's not actually looking very positive from her point of view. Um, all right, but we've got to think more about what's happening on his side of things. All right, so the, from the cartomancy perspective alone, as well as what I'm feeling, the, um, the sense here is we've got the lightning struck tower reverse, we've got the, um, the two of, of staves, which is often in this tarot pack labeled domination so it's a system of control he's showing a tendency to want to undermine the connection and also to try and take control so I would say there's a sense of almost deceit here he's realized that she's got this uh, wonderful temperament this sense of connectivity with him this sense of really really needing him in her life but on the other hand he's now abusing that and is coming out with uh, some very negative uh, vibes here which is demonstrating, kind of like really showing, really feeling that there's some problems with the way that he's seeing the relationship. I, I'm actually seeing him as someone who's um, potentially being abusive here. Okay, but let's just have a look at the forces between the two people, see what kind of emotions we've got going. All right, so now we've got some more complex signs again. The Queen of Swords. Uh, can represent at times another female character suddenly coming into the relationship connection, making things harder. And also there's a sense of some resentment and bitterness associated with that card. So, hmm, but we've got to also inquire as to whether this particular female character um, is, you know, how she's actually interacting with these two people, with these two lovers. Uh, and whether this is allegorical. I mean, if there were some more heart signs in the, in, in the suit in the middle, combined with what I'm feeling, I would turn around and say that hmm, I, I would say that there was po something positive here, but I, I actually feel in this reading there's something there's something negative there's someone else. I don't feel that this other this other female character is relationship connected, but she's just causing trouble because it gives her some kind of pleasure, and that's just the kind of mentality of um, that particular person. But the reading isn't over yet because we then got to look at the short term, mid term, and long term future of these people. Uh, of these two people here, you know, the girl and the boy that we're reading on today, to see how things can work out. That's the short term, that's the mid term, and that's the longer term future. And what have we got here? Okay, short term future signs. We've got the eight of coins reversed. Hmm. 
caution thrown to the wind. Now that's um, that's again not a very good sign. I mean, you know, I don't sugarcoat my readings. I tell people what I can see here. So essentially, I've got to provide some advice to Sandra on the basis of what I'm picking up in this reading, and how you know how best we can we can give some benefits to the connection between Sandra and Phil. With caution thrown to the wind, suggesting that hmm. I feel that she's going to let her love run away with run away with her, and she'll start trying to succumb uh, to Phil's personality towards her. That's not a good sign. I'm going to have to um, try and explain to Sandra that she's got to be strong in this situation. And I feel that, I mean, we got some more po positive signs later on. I mean, um, coin signs can often mean stability, and the fact we got a female sign reverse that's suggesting that any any other female energy is going to move away. So this unpleasant character we're seeing here will be moving out of Phil's life and reducing the quantity of effect that she's got going. However, with um, with a fire sign, that can mean passion. And I, I feel that's correlated with what I'm feeling about this particular reading as well. So that's actually looking really rather good. Um, so we can say that the long-term prognosis for Sandra and Phil is is very good. They've got some very serious difficulties got to be overcome, but in the short and mid-term future. Now, the short-term future can mean anything up to three months from now. Mid-term future is anything up to six months from now. All right. So, you know, we've, there's some work to be done here. I've now got to write the email and get that sent off to them.